Hi guys and welcome to the demonstration video for IFC image format converter for Unity. Once installed from at the asset store, you go to Window Radiant Silver Image Format Converter. This message is very important because it tells you to back up your project because although nothing has gone wrong in testing etc, if something does go wrong, your files are changed forever. So make sure you back up before you begin. Here's the simple window uh, for version 0 0.8, which will be on the asset store probably in the next few days. Um, I'll just go through it quickly. So that size there, large size, 1024, means anything over that size will be considered large enough to convert. So that's 1024 kilobytes, that's one megabyte. So if a file is 900K, it won't get converted unless you lower that to, you know, 850 that means that any file that is 850k or more will get converted so i'll just change it to 256 for now although you know there's no real need to convert images that are that small probably but you might want to the large formats here are the formats that it will convert right which is tiff also the one tiff with double f is included tga bmp um DDS doesn't actually work currently and you've got your desired format here which is PNG I recommend you keep it on PNG but you can now select JPEG which uh, some people have requested um, bearing in mind JPEG is lossy and the quality of your image will go down right so probably there's no not many use cases for using JPEG but you can now and if you do select that it will warn you about everything I've just said there and also if you are using JPEG and you really are set on it, then you can also add .png here. Crunch compression will use Unity's own crunch compression just to compress it even more. And here's the JPEG quality. 100% is top quality, 75%. Uh, 75 is default. Obviously, 1 is very low quality. And a new feature here, you can copy only specific files. So you can actually define that there. Let's see, I wanted to copy just one file. I can go in here and find one. Uh, wait a sec. Let's say I find this one, color domes, and I drag that in. Then this is the only file that will actually get processed. So it'll, it'll scan and just do that one only. If you set that to empty, then it'll do every one it finds. So I'll just do a quick run. I've prepared a few large files in this project, TIFFs, targets, BMPs, etc. Um, and I will hit is running now, which will start it up. And it warns you that it will take a long time because it will. Um, depending on how many files you've got, let's say you have a, a 300 gig project, you know, maybe 100 gigabyte of them are um, huge files so it could take days it could take a day or it could take days but you can see the progress meter here if i actually just cancel that it'll finish the image it's doing and then pause it here and you'll be able to see uh, how many it's processed and how much you've saved right so it's processed 18 files there into jpegs and um reduced the project size by almost 15,000 kilobytes, it's about 15 megabytes. Um, let me just uh, get rid of these messages coming up. So, that will log also to um, your assets folder. Uh, they, there's the log there. If I open that up, you can see it kind of tells you exactly what's going on here. So it says, let's just pick one. So it says, is this relevant? Work your ticket be a PSD. It's not relevant because it's a PSD, right? Can't do anything with them. Um, this one, it says, is this relevant? Coffee Brewer PNG. It is relevant because I set 
I added PNG to to uh, here. So then it says, yes, is it large enough to process? It's 680K. Because I've set that large size to 256, then it is uh, large enough because it's bigger than 256. So it goes on and gets processed here. And it tells you what it's doing. It will become a JPEG. Um, Fan large PRG will, and it tells you the asset name, which will be exactly the same but with a new extension. And then it'll tell you it's saved. And it'll also update the meta files and references to um, the material so you don't have to worry about anything. So let's find out if I go to the uh, coffee brewer in my project. Um, you can see this is the file it has converted quality well the quality will be worse because I've converted it JPEG but if I'd converted it to PNG it would be fine um, but if I find the prefab well prefab isn't there is it or is it is that it yes that is it so you can see this coffee thing looks just the same, even though this material has had its files changed to JPEG. So everything is the same. Now let's say uh, I'll just set it to PNG, right? And I'll delete PNG from the conversion list because we don't want to convert to PNG. We want we don't want to convert PNGs. We want to convert to PNG. Um, so I'll start it again. And actually, something strange happened there. Uh huh. I'll pause it for a second. This is a beta one that hasn't gone out yet. Okay. This should be uh, okay now, I think. So I'll start it up. And you can see there it's found a 12 meg TGA become a PNG it's ripping through them uses a lot of CPU and that so put it on before you go to bed or when you go out and come back and it should be uh, okay and that and using this you can save infinite amounts of space well not infinite but a lot um, saved my project 70 or 80 gig and um, as you can see this if you if you run it every few months you'll find that if you're downloading assets and stuff that the huge files build up again so you have to uh, run it again I just saved 159 megabytes there in you know a few seconds so yeah this is the image format converter um, buy it on the asset store now and if you've got any feature requests drop me a message because uh, I just added a lot today the desired format the ability to add PNG the crunch compression, the JPEG, and the specific files feature are all um, done today. Thank you for watching.